few clouds around Friday and Saturday, just 69 for the high in the Teton area, and then 84 again on Monday with lots of sunshine. So perfect weekend to spend some time outdoors. It should be pleasant out there. Yeah, I do enjoy 69. I might need to go up to the Tetons. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh! oh! <laughs> Great job. <laughs> well, I made it. Or in fact, pay no attention to it because it was found to be frivolous or whatever. Coming up right after the bake. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Coming up right after the break, President Joe Biden is heading to Atlanta today, but his plans for today's events have changed. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan's over here laughing. And the possibility of a lottery in Alabama. We're showing you where legislators are on a decision this morning. What's happening? Olivia is calling. Somebody Decline. answer Olivia. I mean, we can say hi. Someone answer that, please. So I want to time that out ahead. Nancy, you just walked right in front of the camera. <laughs> oh it's my God. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Day after day, people keep making their way to the U.S.-Mexico border. Yeah, the latest uh, numbers from the U.S. Border Patrol, more than 60,000 single adults, more than 32,000 families. We introduce you to the next inspiring and deserving finalist in our Remarkable Women contest. And how to remember... Well, we start our morning all of them. Well, that was nice and dramatic. Real dramatic, right? Anyway, so guys, <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Keith Thompson joins us now from the Weather Alert Center with yeah. what's coming up next. Hey, Keith. You know, Kate, our... By the way, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to just sort of forget that. Hello. Louisiana Go Nation. I'm Jared Joseph Acro. Good morning. It's now 539, and we are going to... <laughs> now, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, the sun is up. There it is. Great view for today. Just exactly where do we go? The rest of the there's a bird. There's birds everywhere. Run! Run! There's birds coming! Run! Run! She's believed to be the oldest female. Mar Three. Sam. Sam. Get out. Kevin Colchester. Kevin Geis, Channel 3 This Morning. Meanwhile, the Bolton Fire Department is thanking Bolton residents for approving a new rescue truck for I the team. I forgot my name. Sunday looks pleasant, 52, with more dry weather to round out the weekend. The warmest of the next seven is next Monday in the low 60s. Oh, hey, Sarah, we'll come back to you in a couple minutes. And so that means they'll rely on groups of users with similar interests rather than drilling down to uh, specific behaviors. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Nina. Someone, is your child knocking on your door? <laughs> no. So okay. they've been in school for three days and they're home today. I have no idea what's going on out there. <laughs> I'll let you go check it out. check that out. Thanks. Mom. <laughs> Just remind you that uh, if you, oh, we've lost uh, the lighting. I'll, um, I'll carry on anyway. If you've been affected by any of the issues mentioned in that report, Samaritans is available 24-7. You can call them on 116123 or email joe at samaritans.org. Those contact details, uh, you can see them, but you can't see me, uh, at the bottom uh, of your screen. There they are. Send it our way. We think there could be a pretty beautiful sunset tonight with the clouds breaking, a little bit of sun coming through. Yeah. There's nothing like, you know, a honey, I shrunk the meteorologist in reverse. So we are now. Don't be scared. Uh, it can happen. Uh, maybe if I lean back a little bit here. Uh, Hi, Mick LaFay. <laughs> Hi, Mick LaFay. <laughs> I knew it. I'm in here so I can't quit. <laughs> solo shot. Exactly. Solo shot. <laughs> yep. I can't do it. <laughs> Barbara, health officials are trying to make that easier for all of us. Let's take a look at it. Time now for our focus on your health. Mike, you got anything over there for your health? Why don't we go to break? We'll be right back. 
doing all day? Uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I questioned, okay. I questioned about even coming in today. I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. Together, he does sun, a lot. <laughs> sunshine every day. Why even bother? You know. Oh my gosh, we have to move on. Good morning. You are watching WJCL 22 Morning News at 4:30 on Monday, August 3rd. I'm Megan Schiller. Renee has the day off. As you can hear, we have a fire drill going on right now. You can hear that blaring in the background. We are safe in here. They're just trying to figure out how to turn it off. So bear with us. Uh, that we could see a few storms up here in Springfield, though. Very light wind today. Highs eventually making it to the middle and upper 80s. Thanks, Brandon. A man is in jail this morning. Chick-fil-A has a challenge for anyone who wants to eat at their restaurant. You have two phone numbers for context. Oh, name. Lord. I apologize. You know how sometimes your phone turns on, it's voice activated? I apologize. Oh, my goodness. I'm tickled. Wait. Okay. I can, I can read the story. This woman, 43-year-old Bernadette Music from Norwood, is charged with disorderly conduct. Police say two weekends ago she called 911 at least four times looking for a date. When police showed up to talk to her about a document show, she refused to answer the door, then urinated in the hallway outside her apartments. She was arrested at the time. You can email friends Lake Brownwood at gmail.com. Gmail.com. My computer is all yes, it confused. Was, yes, thank you. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> Still to come on KSA News at 10. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to end February, Brian. We'll be uh, bringing in a cool day today, but much milder, milder tomorrow. Both days, though, you can get errands done and do things outside. No problems there. In the clear, because anything's possible typically on uh, a it day is, like this. It is, especially a spinning camera with, hey, everyone. See, the cameras are even excited about the uh, forecast. We do want to take a look and show you what is happening, at least as we top some of our weather headlines now. Yeah, yeah just point to this point. Yep. You talk, I point. All right, Friday morning's <laughs> off. We go afternoon sunshine, Friday showers. You see, gorgeous weekend. <laughs> And welcome back once again. I'm Jana Zapala reporting live from the Riverside County Jail. Oh my, did I say the Riverside County Jail? Oh my, you know, you can tell I've had the flu for a while. Sorry about that. The Riverside County Fair and the National Date Festival. 70 years this has been going on. Hopefully they don't throw me in jail after that one. The Eagles and the Cowboys are tied at the top of the division with nine and four records. That game is Friday night at 7. Uh, at 7.30 at AT&T Stadium, I mean in Philadelphia. It's somewhere. They're playing on Sunday in the NFL. I think it's Philadelphia. <laughs> All right, that's the sports. Let's go back to Bob. And still ahead on Good Morning Augusta. And I think we were trying to get in touch with Archith. He's going to tell us all about arts in the heart. We're going to check in with him. Oh, we've got him. Archith, what's going on down there right now? Two weeks ago. Hi. Hi. Sorry about that. You all right? Tied up a little bit. I was moving to another set a moment ago, and my shoelace got caught in my in microphone. In the backup microphone, not this one, the backup one. So if you're reading the news, I'm trying to get the microphone out and of I my shoelace. And I saw you in my monitor. I was like, what so is going on So if you saw that a few there? minutes ago, that's what was going Live on. Live television, Microphone folks. in my shoelace, that's the first. Applicants and KDPS hopes that by... You see, you guys are the only... No, 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 no. When I say you see, I mean, you see, you guys aren't the only ones that got nervous in front of a camera. Oh, yeah. We, t we yeah. do, too. This is actually therapeutic. <laughs> Gusting as close or as high as about 30 or 80, or 80 miles per hour. No, 25 miles per hour. I'm thinking of 80s for the highs, so forgive me. A little bit breezy tonight, though, into tomorrow morning. And then we're going to drop back down to the 60s my midweek next week. Oh, it's Friday. <laughs> All right, I can't talk today. You guys like this shirt tie combo? My mom picked it out for me. <laughs> for WHIZ, I'm Logan Slusser. Good night. Can you not scratch yourself while I'm recording? All right. Yes, in a minute. In a minute. We will go outside in a minute. I know. I know. 
All right, three, two. And we're expecting clear skies to last overnight, Shelly. All right, thank you. Now, just before we go, we have a photo that sparked reaction from this from this something you don't get see back after. <laughs> every day. Good happy weather, Will of Wednesday. As you can see, Jackson and I was, <laughs> were enjoying the snowfall a lot. And this winter has been <laughs> extremely mild. So we don't know if we need a sweater, a t-shirt, or what. All right, let's just get to the weather. He is just all full of love. Here we go. And we have trading relationships that are rivaling yours with a uh, oop. <laughs> I thought you might have tipped oh, over backwards dear. then, Bruce, but it was your I camera. I was getting so excited there. I was getting so excited. That's okay, funny. there we are. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> Sorry about that. Tori, the problem is we've seen for so long in most of the schools, no air conditioning. Oh, definitely, Jim. When school starts in the fall, it's usually still in the... When school starts in the fall, pardon me, it's usually still in the 90s. And to look now at our vaccine tracker. Kentucky has administered more than 1.2 million doses. We have also surpassed all of our neighboring states in vaccinations. 27% of our population here in the Commonwealth has received at least one dose of the vaccine. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ellis Ivinson. Sounds good just to say it. I'm Pat Hoffman, meteorologist, meteorologist, meteorologist. <laughs> Greg Shaw. The See, problem is, it's we have to say meteorological later. Strength, so we've had to yes. rework yes. our mouths. <laughs> yeah. Mine obviously did not work it, well. It, it is a long word for the morning. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of syllables. <laughs> it's a long word for any time, but yes. Uh, You're with us on this Friday. I'm Valerie Calhoun. Hey, Dakari. Hey, Dakari. Or, I'm, Dak I'm Dakari. That's me. Val. It's, it's, a little, it's a little early for me. I'm Dakari. You are Valerie. Hey, Where Valerie, you on your Friday. It is bright and early. As you can tell, I haven't had my coffee yet. It's 5 o'clock. Let's go ahead and get you started with meteorologist Brittany DeVos live in severe weather center 13. Now that is how you start the 5 o'clock. <laughs> All right, let's jump to your sports right now. Women's basketball team, they lost to a Texas A&M, so they will not get that coveted SEC regular season crown, but that's okay. They're still in it for the end. Uh, see, hey, and, and NAA, what is it? The NAAC, oh, Christmas. And <laughs> <laughs> NCAA March Madness about to kick in. Let me kick the baseball. There it is. The picks in. The big dance is about to begin. Yeah. Oh, hey. Cher is excited, too. About Friday. basketball. <laughs> Cougars. Aggies. You're ready. Shara Park's ready. Coming up. All right. We'll have you covered with that and more. But first... <laughs> The it's camera Friday. is social distance. The camera needs social distance. It does, apparently. <laughs> Brad, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hey, good morning. Anthony has more to share about our very first day of spring. Christina, it sure feels like Christine. <laughs> no, feel, <laughs> wow, it sure feels like spring out there. I almost said it sure feels like Christina out there. It's, that would have made no sense. It's because I'm radiating. Yes, like the spring. sun. You look like the sun. You're yeah. radiating sunshine. Yeah. I got you, girl. Thanks. It's okay. <laughs> uh, put down the Oberon, Hannah. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan Shade so early this morning. Tournament started last night with Vanderbilt beating Texas A&M. Vandy returns to the courtroom this afternoon against Florida. Balls. Did I say courtroom? You said courtroom. <laughs> it's a court. Yeah, yeah. You said courtroom. Oh. The jury's still out on you. <laughs> that is so funny, actually. The courtroom. Um, congrats, Vandy. That's a big win yeah. over A&M. You're innocent. Um, they're innocent. <laughs> The ball's playing tomorrow. Rise and shine, Texoma. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Stan Smith. Again, we apologize for these technical difficulties. Don't really know how to describe what's going on, but we, thank you for watching anyway. <laughs> we don't know what's going on either, but we do have meteorologist uh, Tom Miller joining us now to give us some of that forecast, anyways. I know some <laughs> two of the two-thirds of it. Two-thirds yeah. of the maps. There you go. Yeah, this is really hard to figure out which is, you know, where, which way to really point. Uh, but what you can see is the overcast skies, and we have a little dab of moisture at the bottom of your screen, which is the top of your screen. Ah. May twenty-second. Write it down. It's the big day. Yes. 
Cody, should we just go ahead and get a ticket? Lindsay, you ready? Well, are you we'll be there. there. Yeah, are we ready to go? Yeah, Everybody's we're going to run that one mile while being chased by Bigfoot. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's how it's going to go. Yeah. All over, yeah. Hey, okay. and this is a new one I just learned about. It's called a Yowie. Yowie. I and that is uh, Australia's version of Bigfoot and Sasquatch. So, so depending on where you're at geographically, they have different names for Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, and Yowie. Can we see that picture behind you real quick? Oh, you yeah, 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 absolutely. All the creatures Cody. coming. Oh, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the Bigfoot crossing <laughs> sign. Yeah. It's Cody. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, there you go. Dew point around 64. There better not be a bug on me. I'm telling you guys, this humidity is back. I think I felt something. Maybe I'm going crazy on this Friday. There is so a bug on me. Yep. I just killed it live on TV. <laughs> okay, anyways. 81 degrees this afternoon, 62 for tomorrow morning, and we're going to do it all again with these summer-like temperatures bringing bugs back into the studio.